Welcome back guys. So we completed case study 6 and now we are moving on to case study 7. So in this case study 7, let's have a quick look into what are the multiple choice question areas. As he carrying on the business of growing and manufacturing tea is allowed a deduction under income tax upon fulfillment of conditions. So this is related to income tax. So they need to make contribution to which scheme. Yeah. So this is income tax uh, related area. Then select the correct option on the basis of the following two statement. So this is related to application of income and diversion of income other again it is income tax. What would be the GST treatment of stock lying? So there is some stock which is lying. So for that what is the GST treatment to be taken? Then next Banasari Private Limited is also engaged in sending raw tea leaves to job workers. So goods sent on job work what is the form? So again GST related. With respect to decision taken at fourth board, team, fourth board meeting, the contention of director, so Companies Act. Companies Act. So this is on Companies Act. And descriptive questions analyze whether the activities are narrated by CA Puru. So as per India S41, so FR related, so Chinmay sir has to answer. You are required to state income tax implication of withdrawal from deposit account. So income tax and at last we got one question on auditing. auditing. So, with what specific factors would be considered in formulating an audit strategy? So, this is audit related. So, that is the question areas guys and uh, now we will move on to the paragraph discussion. So, let me start with the first paragraph. Mr. Murli Lal and Mrs. Bansuri Devi have been residing in Manipur village since their marriage. They have been actively involved in agriculture and dairy farming business in their village and sell their output in nearby villages as well. They have earned much accolades for business they run and have incurred much wealth. Oh, good. So hmm. through agriculture they made good wealth it seems. So there have been many instances where the couple felt that they could move on to a metro town to explore more but without any knowledge of business world and regulatory compliances they felt handicapped. Their children also settled abroad one fine day when they visited by CA Puru, a fa fast friend, fast, <laughs> fast, fast friend. food, like fast food, <laughs> fast friend. Okay, let's ignore a friend of their son. <laughs> a friend of their son, <laughs> who usually comes down to their village quite often to know about the well-being of their friends' uh, parents from time to time. It's, it's, it's surprising that she has so much of time to visit yeah, friends, 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 parents. <laughs> Mrs. Bansuri Devi discusses with him about the agriculture operations. I don't know why all these things. She manages with the help of her team in the village and scale operations they maintain. Puru tells them about how agriculture activities are maintained and operated in the metro towns like Mumbai, where lives and practices is where he lives and practices his profession. During discussion, he no, why, tells. Why, why will agricultural activities are maintained in metro towns? I don't ah, know. that's what. So they gave just. <laughs> okay. During discussion, he tells that one of her client, one of his clients, Messrs. K T Buddy Limited, a listed company is involved in agriculture and allied operations. So just I am pausing it here. I wanted to ask one query to Punarva sir. Sir, uh, can a company be into agriculture activities? Yes, sir. Generally, I mean, it will be going through various, uh, you know, forms. For example, ITC is into agricultural activity. In yeah, the so you were referring last time. Yes. So I think that uh, website yeah, so will just, just show uh, one thing. It's called e Chopal. E Chopal. Yeah. So where uh, ITC is like an aggregator where it's directly from, you know, uh, producer to the market, farm to producer, yes. so to speak. Okay. So all the farmers of uh, India, most of them are aggregated and then it's directly sold by ITC to okay. various other, you know, uh, what do you say, consumers, so to speak. So anybody can buy and this is one of the largest in uh, the world. Okay. So they are doing excellent job as you can see in the video itself. In the You can visit the website guys, you can just search. Uh, so e they are like, like Amazon kind of thing. Uh, they are like, they are like an Amazon sort of thing and also they are giving their uh, knowledge, their okay. uh, machinery, everything as well for a minor cut. So this is ITC's way of actually giving back to society okay. and in fact because of which their other product basically ITC is Indian tobacco yeah. company. So ha, obviously ha, ha. one way they are killing people yeah. and Correct. the other way they are you know yeah. uh, producing a lot of goods and because see so uh, balancing the balance sheet. Balancing, sir, balancing the balance sheet and also balancing the life so to speak. 
because generally these farmers as in this uh, thing that they said that in the question they don't have the knowledge yeah so these guys are providing lot of knowledge there are educational what do you say seminars etc conducted and how to uh, farming practices being uh, done okay. all those things are doing actually free of cost oh. so it's like a csr activity but they are also aggregating and then selling okay, okay. so in that sense okay. of the term it is one of that is why I, this question i could link it to each of all because that is what they these guys in the village now want to come to the metro and try to do something okay yeah. and uh, as you said about csr i have one doubt in yes, that sir. Uh, in in, in uh, gst usually csr expenditure is not eligible for input tax credit correct as per the recent uh, finance act 23 amendment correct so that's okay because that is with effect from 1st october 2023 because specifically the law is made hmm. so right now lot of people wanted to know this that before 1st october 2023 because this amendment is a prospective amendment right before 1st october 2023 i had some csr expenditure now only it is disallowed hmm. for itc so before that can i take for that only catch is that is it a business expenditure correct. or not correct so what you feel personally and uh, is csr expenditure the business expenditure of uh, the corporate correct sir. so in section 37 of uh, the income tax act they had a thing that all general expenditure can be claimed there but an explanation has been added couple of years ago where they say csr expenditure is not allowed sir not allowed any type of okay. csr expenditure under section 37 the reason? Reason? reason is very simple uh, if for example the csr comes from 135 of companies act so there they say you have to donate two percent of your wealth of your profit okay now if i give a deduction on that it's like subsidizing the donation oh. so if i give two percent of my wealth to you and then give a 30 percent tax benefit understood so first of all i'm telling you have taken so much from society the least you can do is give two percent correct so in that two percent also if i give you 30 percent tax benefit then i mean let's say you have around 1.7 percent uh, what is the point then applying the same principle yeah so even before first october 2023 yeah if uh, a company has incurred some CSR expenditure, they cannot take ITC with ITC. respect okay. to that. But one catch there is, sir, in 37 it is not allowed. But any expense which comes under 30 to 36 will be allowed. For example, 30 to 36 are your specific expenditure. Correct. So if you actually, uh, you know, donate some money to some research organization, uh. which will come under the CSR policy, then it will be allowed because it okay. comes under the respective scientific research expenditure sort Correct. of thing. Correct. But, sir, uh, actually that is fine. That is yeah. specific allowability. Yeah. So, but here the point is about whether it is in the cores or furtherance of business. Correct, because in correct. GST it says. Uh, can I um, yes. analyze like this? Yeah. It is like a tax paid, mm. but not to government, but to society directly. Correct, uh, correct. So, the tax what you pay to government, you don't take it as reduction. So, the CSR expenditure what you spend is directly given for society without going through government. Right. So, it's like. But tax say, paid is allowed as deduction. Which no, it will not be. No, it will not be. What he's trying yeah. to tell is instead of tax giving rate. to the government, no, you are giving it's to another form of a tax itself. Tax. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. your tax rate is not 25, it's 27. Like 27. Can yeah. And uh, any donation that you make under your ATG, etc., mm -hmm. those areas it's allowed, sir. Huh. Even if it is CSR. Yes, sir. Yes. So yes. apart from that, especially in 37 for furtherance of business, any general expenditure is not at all allowed because you will not allow subsidizing the uh, what do you say? Donation. Understood. You're supposed to make full 2% with your heart and ignore the benefit of the deduction on which you will save tax anyway. Understood. So that question is not there, but it's a good yeah, point. Yeah. It's, good it's point. something related. Yeah, so, yeah. probable areas we are actually discussing. Right, right, right. And uh, we can. so the company is also involved in various other types of animal husbandry operations and works on the same scale as Mrs. Banasuri Devi and Mr. Murli Lal work in the village. On getting curious, Mrs. Bansuri Devi asked him about the form and style in which KT by D Limited works in the city. Puru tells her that unlike villages in corporate world, large business, businesses have to follow certain accounting standards while maintaining books and balances of their business. Standards relating to agriculture set out accounting for agriculture activity, the management of the transformation of biological assets, living plants and animals into agricultural produce and harvested product of the entity's biological assets. The standards generally require biological assets to be measured at fair value less cost to sell. So he tells her about the following activities carried out by KT Buddy Limited. Sir, uh, is there an accounting stand on uh, Yes, that, that's an interesting point because uh, accounting standards or uh, India's IFRS usually don't have specific for uh, in industry. Okay. Like software standards we don't have, pharmaceutical oh, okay. standards we okay. don't have. But for agriculture, they have a separate standard. 
that's the oh. only exception i would say that where a sector specific standard has been given okay and uh, in this sir, regard sorry yes, sorry living plants and animals so that will be treated as your in the as standard the, as biological uh, so assets they 41 they, they, they also use that word here ah. the management of transformation of biological, biological assets, assets. Okay. so you should have satisfy these conditions so, so like if it's only in agriculture so agriculture? i'm just asking like if i use uh, of course the bulls etc for the yeah, farming they, they are, metals okay they are also part of biological assets like dairy farming okay um, okay uh, because for, i mean uh, one more i can farming. connect that one in this thing what is the income tax uh, there were temples who were having these elephants correct mm. now are they assets mm. can you claim depreciation Okay. Was a question which was raised in all these uh, various temples of Kerala, especially. Okay, okay. And uh, even in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu also yes, you will have. Yes, yes. So initially they were allowing and, and all those things. Then they made an amendment in 36 saying that no, it cannot be an asset. But when you obviously they, can it be expense? But is it an expense? If ah, I buy yeah. an elephant, Correct. so to speak, at one crore, yes, can I expense it yeah. off? So later they said that once the elephant dies, whatever the carcass you sell, uh, you can uh, subtract uh. that skin, etc. You can subtract and the remaining can be claimed as an expenditure, expenditure is what okay, they okay. had told. That is when the an animal dies. Okay. Yeah, the, so, the, the reason why you need a separate standard for the biological transformation is, you know, this famous concept of uh, inventory valuation, right? Yes, yes. So imagine you have 100 cows at the beginning, you purchased 10 and you sold 10 and at the year end you have 102 cows. Uh -huh. So the question is the two cows, how do you value it? Is it first uh -huh. in, first out? Where did it come from? Generated. Yeah. <laughs> Internally generated. Internally. <laughs> Accretion to the asset. Yes, it is like a bonus share. Bonus, okay. bonus share, yeah. Right. So that's why they, they thought, okay, we need to clarify. So okay. the standard has been created. Then when it comes to GST, thank God all services in relation to agriculture or agricultural produce is exempted. Oh, okay. So we don't have to pay any GST. For example, uh, you know, like uh, the, the previous ICE Chopal. Ah. So they are uh, providing some service and doing the cut. Yes, they are collecting, yeah, collecting some money. Some are free, some are chargeable. Yeah. So like farmer education training or supply of agro machinery, etc. So whatever amount that they collect also, they don't have to pay GST on that. Oh. So because we have an exemption in notification 12 of 2017 and even uh, certain sale of, even in GST, these are goods actually. Oh, okay. Live plants and animals are goods. Goods, okay. Goods, but they are exempted from payment of GST. So no need to pay GST on sale of animals. Mm -hmm. Even the animals can be sold like stock in trade. Yeah. Mm. So usually like lot of people will be selling, uh, selling no, like selling animal animals, cattle, cattle. Ah. poultry farming, poultry, poultry farming, okay. unless otherwise it is processed meats, okay. if processed meats like pipola etc yes, like yes, what they are selling, yeah. meat, meat, processed meat, Dishes. that will be goods and chargeable to GST but live animals so will not be coming under goods. So 18 on 18 percent only sir, as a rate? Yes, or? yes, yes. And uh, he tells her about the following activities carried out by KT Buddy Limited, managing animal related recreational activities like zoo, fishing in the ocean, fish farming, development of living organisms such as cells, bacteria and viruses for research, growing of plants to be used in the production of drugs. So yes sir, so you can carry. Yeah, Marvus, sir. I can carry. Hearing about this, Mrs. Vasuri Devi per persuades. Mr. Murli Lal to set up a company in town under Puru's guidance to expand their business outside the village as well. So Puru assures Mr. Murli Lal on his queries, on all his queries and tells him that he and his team will help them at every step in setting up their company. So predominantly the incorporation of the That's company. That's why he's going there every time. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. going there. But yes. you know, yeah, correct. <laughs> correct. That's the reason. Puru needs because in his work. Yeah, work. That's right. Soon the couple with the help of CA Puru set up and start operating their company in Mumbai under the name and style of Mesas Basuri Private Limited. I think Basuri in Hindi is the flute. Oh, boss, so, it's yeah. not Bansuri. Yeah, sir, we are all South <laughs> Indians, we call it Bansuri, but even I was thinking it is it's Basuri. Basuri, Basuri. is the flute. Yeah. Flute. Okay, so, Basuri. And his Murli Lal is obviously the Krishna, ah, Krishna. Bhagwan's ah, name, so Basuri Lal. <laughs> See how and all they connect. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mesa's Basuri Private Limited. Oh, so it's a private limited company. And of course, in private limited company, as you know, there will be, you know, these two people only can be the directors. Directors. So, two minimum two directors are needed anyway. Uh, which ventured into business of agricultural operations with uh, Murli Mr. Murli Dal, Mrs. Basudevi and one new guy is coming now, Mr. Prabhudeva, Prabhudeva as the directors of the company. Mr. Prabhudeva is appointed as the MD as the former directors are 
quite they are former directors also yeah, and former directors former directors. <laughs> former directors of the company are uh, what do you say quite, uh, quite busy. busy in the business already set up at manpur mm-hmm. so these two people that is murli and uh, they are focusing on agriculture agriculture so basically so, they do the work he just looks at yeah. managing so yeah. manage, managing director so as you know managing director is a person who has been given the entire opportunity or rather responsibility of yes. uh, substantial operations of the affairs of the company mm. so he will be appointed and he will run the show a- any uh, thing if you lift the corporate veil ultimately he will be liable so he is the main person liable so to speak seven prabhu deva prabhu deva prabhu deva is the point of md so he will be liable for everything yes i mean unless any, if anything happens when Correct. you lift the i think this point bill. is common even in gst also sir. yes sir like uh, in gst also when the company has defaulted in payment of gst uh, uh. and uh, the company is like a private limited company right. if it is a public limited company as per ibc or liquidation it will go Correct. if it is a private limited company the director is liable the managing right. director whereas the other directors mm. are also liable, liable unless they prove that they are not you know looking after looking the after affairs this. correct so same we can see in companies act also sir when you lift the corporate veil the md will be liable and okay. other directors who are like if uh, if you have a company as a cfo and any fraud happens in financial fraud then the md and the cfo will be uh-huh. Same, 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 same. GST same. also GST same. Also same. Income, Income tax, tax also, also same. same. And yeah, in that. So guys, so therefore these three laws, the provision is same. Like yeah. whenever there is a default that has happened, yeah. So we will lift the corporate wheel and uh, management of the affairs of the company, like CEO, CFO, or CEO, whatever yeah, it yeah, is, yeah. and they are definitely be guilty. And whereas uh, the other directors are, you know, guilty if. the charges are proved or if they prove that uh, they have not committed the offence then they will be relieved correct, correct? perfect so if yes. you are able to prove your innocence you will be in india otherwise you'll go outside. go outside. Yeah, outside. Yeah. 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 art of leaving yes is another thing art of leaving yeah. is yeah correct right so the company got registered under gst solely in the state of maharashtra sir anything that uh, solely no, as they are doing business only in maharashtra that manpur okay. village only they are doing business right, right. so that is in maharashtra that's why they got registered in maharashtra right. if at all you know they open a corporate office in mumbai because i okay. you know they are actually yeah. opening a pe- in mumbai in mumbai, mumbai. Uh-huh. so in mumbai when they open so it is optional like uh, in case study 6 how we see right. we saw like either they can go for single registration within the state okay. or they can go for separate registrations so here they are going for only single registration across maharashtra right right during the year the company falls short of funds and they decide to borrow funds from the market so now they are talking about borrowing funds so when i say borrowing funds of course uh, some part of you know fr also would obviously come in respect to reporting income yeah. tax will come and right. of course law will come for sure because it's a private company. private company the board of directors of the company that is those three people uh, uh, resolve to, to borrow, borrow resolve the moment they say resolve it means they are passing a resolution okay yeah so mm-hmm. it's passing a resolution to borrow a sum of 20 crore so 20 cr they are want to borrow from a nationalized bank at a board meeting so this is again talking about borrowing powers we'll see that later held on 15th january 24 that is the board meeting date mr prabhu deva who opposes the said borrowing so md only is telling don't want uh-huh. and not in the interest of the company has raised an issue that the said borrowing is outside the borrowing powers so this entire paragraph speaks about borrowing powers in case study 6 also we discussed uh, what are the powers of the board we need to just revise that again uh, when we come to the question because we uh, we saw a question one of the questions Correct. speaks about this putting forward the following data share capital is 5 cr reserves and surplus 5 crore again secured loan 10 crore a secured against the asset of the company and unsecured loan is around 5 right. so they already taken borrowing yes. earlier uh, borrowing they have taken already so i think that's why that guy is uh, you know hesitant because he is the md anything yes. happens he will be behind yes. bars so i think that's okay. the reason why he is little hesitant uh, after the meeting since mr murli lal was in mumbai he wanted to discuss all the tax matters and now tax station comes also mm-hmm. with ca puru and sits with him in his office for the same first one you no know, every day he used to go no now they are, no, now they are coming once <laughs> initially yes to go yeah with business expansion mr murli lal has also purchased the controlling stake so the word control here is again defined in your 2 clause 27 of companies act control is not just more than 50% control can also be controlling the majority of the director board of directors, board of, directors of the company sir and, and one uh, sorry to interrupt yes, sir, you yes, sir, yes, sir. so control in the context of control so more than 50% yeah. naturally control yeah. 
controlling the majority like uh, if the majority board of directors are common yeah. between two yeah. companies also there exists a control yeah. and uh, in india is also there is something called control by way of operations no no it, it, it control if, if i say the two blocks of a uh, financial statements one i would say the accrual matching concept other is control concept okay, okay. because when they say what is the definition of an asset asset is not owned by entity it is controlled by entity Okay. So if you take an asset or like higher purchase, a typical example, right? You may not own the asset, but you control the asset. Okay. So all the accounting standards, fundamental point is the control comes into picture. To be more specific in respect to consolidation, to arrive whether there's a control, yes, there is a requirement of that 50% or majority of board of directors. But in days go one step further. Like huh. Any exactly. other situation where you can establish that the circumstances indicate that entity is controlling another entity. Okay. Just to give an example, or even the institute has questions on those lines. If you look at the historical pattern of AGM, mm. only let's say 60% of the people attends. Mm. That is the average in last 10 years. Correct. So if a person has 40%, he is said to have control. Because 40 out of 60 is majority. Okay. So in the actual circumstances, you see in, in uh, legal terms, he has only 40%. But for all practical reasons, those who attend only will make the decision. Out of 40, out of 60 means he is only likely to have the powers. Yes. So, will controlling operations yeah. will come under control? Uh, they use the word. For example, sir, uh, say for example, I am I'm, I'm having a hotel brand called as Oyo. Mm -hmm. Now, you are having one hotel. So, you are the owner of the hotel. Now, you are not able to do the operations. So, I am making an agreement with you. Wherein I will take over the operations. So you need to exit. You need to just take the money and go. Profit I will give. But I will not pay any amount to you. Like I am not purchasing the hotel. Okay. So I am doing, going to do the operations. And out of the profits I am going to share with you. And I, that is also defined. Like 60% is the expenses. 40% is the profit. In you the you take a profit share. But uh, without being an owner. Uh, so so now, the, the, again the index is, is a principle based standard. Okay. They are not a rule based standard. Okay. So they use the word called as relevant activities. Okay. What is relevant activities, they don't tell. So that is what we have to decide based on the judgmental uh, application part. So relevant activities means for running the organization, who takes the decision, who is more uh, responsible. Then in that case, it is yeah. controlling interest. Controlling interest should be there, exactly. Uh -huh. and, and for the purpose of that, they'll give you few element features like you should have a power mm. which can come from shareholding. Okay. which can come from board of directors representation okay. or which can come from any other uh, articles of association power. Okay. So power should be there and when you make a decision, it should be resulting or affecting your financial position. Mm -hmm. So if you make a decision, it's not like, okay, uh, nothing will happen to me. Uh, you will have a profit share, like, like a portfolio management service Correct. companies. If something happens to the client, you will have a share of that. Mm -hmm. So your decision and your... Uh, Response is connected. Yes. So, as you said, like through articles of association, something of that sort. Sir, uh, through a shareholding agreement. Uh, just to add one more yes. point. There can be a situation where two companies can have control. Two companies may uh -huh. need to consolidate because okay. they satisfy different criteria. Okay. Yes. So, through a shareholding agreement, say for example, there is a public limited company. Mm -hmm. And that public limited company is in the verge of liquidation. Mm. And uh, they need some, uh, their market cap is somewhere like uh, 500 crores. But they are having a liquidity issue. Correct. They have short term liquidity issue. Now they badly need funds because they need to repay the loans and uh, the interest is getting accumulated. So now they need some 200 crores. The market cap of the company is 500 crores. Okay. So in that 500 crores, I am going to give 200 crores. My company is going to give 200 crores with the condition that we will make a shareholding agreement. Means my percentage is only 40%. Correct. But I'll make a shareholding agreement wherein your board should retire. Mm. So I should take over the operations. Mm. Entire board will be mine. Mm. So through shareholding agreement, can I start controlling the enterprise? Because I'm giving my 200 crores. I don't trust the management of that company. Yes, sir. Because 227 is an inclusive definition. Uh -huh. It says control includes majority of directors or But here only 40%. Percentage doesn't matter. Because for that matter, even if I give you 30%, I am an associate, you, you can call me an associate, but I am controlling the majority of directors. Directors, Because okay. I am 
retiring a board of directors and I am putting my directors on okay. board or my people on board. Yes. So that shareholder agreement also will be part of the control. Yeah. There. So this was a classic case which I saw in case of one educational company okay. by name MT Educare yes. Limited. Right. Okay. 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 So this was the exact it, situation. It, got, it was liquidated, sir. Am I right? Uh, no, yes, sir. They have I, I, IBC. IBC. IBC got delisted for sure, ah, but I think it yeah. is in under IBC. 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 It is under IBC. Hmm. So the, the exact thing that has happened. Okay. So I just wanted to understand because what happened? Zealand board has taken over Take the them. operations, right. and right. Uh, per se they could not understand about the business, commerce business, how commerce teaching and all will happen, etc. Mm -hmm. They dealt like science. Okay. So that's where it backfired, and right. uh, they were in the verge of like liquidation kind of, and IBC initiated. So that's so why existing people this, are not in favor of them taking over, right? Uh, no, existing they're... people like uh, they they were okay. Uh -huh. They are telling because they need the 200 crores fund in order to meet the working capital requirement. Right. Otherwise, uh, the bank started telling like we will put the shares in the market. So oh, okay. We will release the shares which you have pledged with us in the market. Yeah. So then, correct, correct. What happens if the shares are given into the market? You should yeah. tell. That's so, the thing. When you that that's why whenever you invest in company in general, look at what percentage of promoters thing is uh, pledged. Uh -huh. If the percentage keeps increasing, that's sign of risk. But sir, usually when promoters' holdings are being pledged, mm -hmm. they have to report it, right? Companies yes, yes, are reporting. reporting. It's yeah. reported. That's why you should keep a track and say uh -huh. that if companies uh, the pledging of promoters getting increasing, so have. Uh, don't invest in that company. Like L and T, if I'm not wrong, uh, don't have promoters now, right? All of them have liquidated. If I'm not wrong, I mean, uh, uh, the, like the, their percentage, promoters' percentage might Pers be very low. Maybe very yes, yeah, Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Anyway, yes. It's coming back Good to this. Question. Yes. Uh, where were we? Yeah. Yeah. We purchased controlling stake, so we stopped at control, control. and we kind of lost oh, control, but we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we That's did a very it. big area. Control. Yeah, a huge area. Control word is a huge area, but it was a very good discussion. In Masas Kheti Body Limited, and is now. A director in the set company. So yes, so he has purchased the controlling stake and is a director of the company in in that Kethi Body Limited company itself. He wants Puru to tell him briefly about the performance of this company in T market. So here they are entering into T market as well. So uh, <laughs> T is one of the largest exports in our country. Okay. That is the reason why in, uh, income tax has given a lot of benefits to the tea market. Tea, okay. tea coffee and even to some extent rubber. Okay. Okay. That is the reason for these three uh, things. There is a rule, rule number okay. six and okay. seven, which will give you a lot of benefits. Okay. Like for example, 60% will be uh, agricultural income, 40% is business so income like that. you don't have like to that. worry about uh, right. right. So if you see, uh, I mean, I had the chance of visiting this Kannan Devan estate okay. uh, where I wanted to have tea. Generally, I am a coffee person being okay. a South Indian and not tea person. But then that tea that I had there, sir, was one of the best that I've had in my life. Oh. So when I said, can I buy? He said, no, sir, it's only exported. Oh, yeah, okay. usually they give the status as 100% EOUs. EOUs, yeah. So for so us, they are not supposed to sell. What we drink is the third, fourth, fifth degree. They are supposed to sell waste. Waste, yeah. That waste is what we are <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's how it is, yeah. sir. So and if you want, you have to import. You have to import. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Have to import. So basically, if I want to have like authentic Indian tea, I have to go abroad and drink it. Drink. Okay. So, but there, I mean, that is the reason why because there are a lot of benefits that are given with respect to what is agricultural income and what will be exempt and what is taxable income. So that's the reason why they have said tea market. Yeah, okay. we'll come to that portion in a while. Puru tells him that for the previous year ended 31st March 23, Kheti Body Limited's composite business profit is what the composite business profit is what they're saying. Before allowing reduction relating to growing and manufacturing tea is 50 lakh. On 1-9-23, it, it deposited a sum of 10 lakh rupees. So basically, uh, income tax reduction you will get if you deposit certain amounts in these accounts, okay. tea development account and all that. We will see the specifics of it later because there is definitely a question on this. During the previous year, 21-22, the company had incurred a business loss of 15 lakh rupees. Business loss of 15 lakh rupees, which had been carried forward. Mm -hmm. On 25 1 24, it withdrew 10 lakhs from the deposit account, which it utilized. Basically, in the year in which you deposit the same financial year, you need to use it. Okay. So they have only then you will get the deduction because the lawmaker is telling you he set aside in the T development account, use it for certain purposes for the development of that particular market. Then I'll give you the deduction. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that 10 lakh whatever you have withdrawn, I will add it as an income okay. because you have taken the deduction. Correct. In that year you use it, otherwise I will you know, use it for the purposes for which they have 
uh, specified. Mm -hmm. So here he has bought 6 lakh rupees for purchase of non-depreciable asset as per the scheme specified. So as per the scheme if you use then it's yes. allowed. No problem. So out of 10 lakh, 6 lakh is allowed. 3 lakh for purchase of machinery to be installed in the office premises. Now as we say T development, T etc. should happen in the factory. Now, right. If I use something for the office, I will use the money for the office. Then mm -hmm. obviously that, that deduction will not, not be allowed. Al allowed. Unless say, you use it in computers, etc. Mm -hmm. okay. Or furniture and all, if I buy, mm -hmm. then it will, cannot be taken as a deduction. Ah, okay. If though, from that money which has been kept in the T development account. Okay. Third one, 1 lakh was spent for the purpose of the scheme on 5424. So, as you see, next. it should be done in that same year. Same year. It is done in the next year, gone. Oh, okay. So, we will see that in a while exactly how it is. So, but this year you don't get the benefit. Next year also you don't get the benefit. Yeah, yeah. correct. That's all. Correct. Right. So, Right, next. Mr. Murli Lal wants to know about the income of the company for the year and the tax liability, if any, thereon, and about which Puru gives him an approximate idea of that at that time. So, generally, CES tells her what tax you want to pay you. Correct, tell, correct. And we'll work back. <laughs> no, so, it, 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 so it'll be like, yeah, no, okay, you can do Yeah, yeah, so that's how it is. Right, yes. so next, second one, uh, yeah, Mr. Prabhu Deva had informed CA Puru, Prabhu Deva is the director. About two peculiar transactions related to GST. Yeah, so two like, peculiar. When I read the word two peculiar, I heard like two peculiar transactions. <laughs> peculiar. <laughs> peculiar transactions. So two uh, peculiar transactions related to GST, which he wanted to discuss in the presence of Mr. Murli Lal, relating to Basuri Private Limited. That is that private company that they started initially. In one of the cases, they send raw tea leaves to the registered job worker under GST. GST. Raw tea leaves will be sent to the job worker under GST. Mr. Sharma in Mangalore, Karnataka oh. and further the processed flavor tea which is further delivered to the wholesaler in Telangana oh, from, uh, also from somewhere from Maharashtra it going yes, to Karnataka yes. then Telangana from the job workers place in Mangalore itself with invoice and the e-way bill being issued by the company's department from the Mumbai. Mumbai. Yeah. yeah, we have a question on that. So, we will we discuss, will discuss that. that. So, we'll do you want to write like some chart or something like what is happening this day? Yes, I think, yes, yeah, sir. Yes. Yes. When so, there is a question yeah. on that. When so we are reading the question, we will yes. yes. So, my understanding is that the raw leaves will be sent to that worker. Raw leaves will be sent to the job worker. Mangalore Mangalore fellow. Mangalore job worker right? will process yeah. it further and he is sending it from there to Telangana. Yeah. So, even though the goods are sent from the job worker's place, but that will be added to the turnover of the Principal manufacturer only. Right. The place is the job worker's place. Right. So that this information is related to that. So one, I mean, tedious question which is not there, but which may come here is this uh, job worker. Is it a contract or is it a sale to the job worker? Huh. But since the word job worker is there, it's a sir. Usually job work is a contract, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. So goods sent on job work will not be treated as sale for the purpose of GST. Same, so, goods sent on job work will be treated as, uh, you know, like uh, contract. Uh, movement, contract through movement. Same, sir. Same in income tax also, it will be coming under 194C. Because there were many people, what they were doing, they were just selling it to them, selling. Yeah. And then they were... And in this regard, actually one super point is there. Uh. If the goods are sent to the job worker, it is not treated as supply at the time when it is sent to the job worker. Okay. However, if the processed goods are not brought back or sold from there within one year oh, okay. or extended time limit, then the goods sent to the job worker will be traded as supply after expiry of the time limit. Okay. Now, so at the time when I am sending to the job worker, mm. so it is not a supply. Mm. So job worker will be receiving the job charges. Correct, correct. 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 So therefore, the TDS will be under section 194C. 194C. Mm. Now, the job worker is not returning within one year or extended time as permitted by the officer. Now it is treated as sale in my hands. Okay. Oh, sale in my hands. That's for GST. Yes. Okay. Deemed as sale in my hands. But that person will not pay anything to me. Correct, Just correct. it will become deemed sale in my in hands, hands and I have to pay GST. Correct. So the question of TDS will not be there. Correct. Correct. But you would so, have done already. You would have already done already that. Already done that TDS when I am giving the money. So when I am making a deemed sale, he need to pay me money. Okay. But he is not going to pay money. Yeah. So, because it is just a deemed sale. Correct. So, the question of 194C will not apply. Correct. Earlier, what used to happen was, I mean, this was the Supreme Court decision 2-3 years ago. What used to happen was, I used to give the stuff, let's say I used to give 100 rupees what he leaves and okay. 10 rupees was the processing charges. Okay. So, that guy used to give a bill of 110. Huh. 
So people were deducting sometimes on only 10 rupees TDS, then on 110 also. Okay. So it was like confusing. So that's the reason why they said no, it is always a contract. You should pay only on that extra amount, that 10 okay. rupees obviously. Okay. But this is interesting, sir. After one year, it is a deemed sale as per GST, yes. but of course as per income tax, it still remains a contract. Contract. That's why it's a deemed sale, obviously. Yes. Nice. So that question is not there, friends. It's but there. It's can... there. It's there actually. Oh, it's there, sir. Okay. Next to job worker, it is. There. Okay. Okay. Cool. But uh, 194C question is not, not there. there. So you can add question on that in case they ask, you can note it down. So even the one year question is not there in this job work ah, contract. Actually, correct. there is another job work contract. Okay. That is the same continuation. Uh, we, will, we will read that, sir. So basically, the 194C is an extra question. You can note that down. Further, he asks him about the treatment of another transaction. They had sent a special lot of tea, Rosa. Uh, this will be that export quality. To another job worker, Mr. Shakti Puri in Ratlam for making flavor tea as per the directions given. So basically, I have given you some directions, you have to make the tea as per that. Further, due to a decline in the market of flavor tea, they sent fresh, normal, unprocessed raw tea with new instructions to the job worker to hold the earlier consignment in stock till a buyer is found. So, this that stock is, yes. Hmm. That stock was with them only. Correct, correct, correct. So, therefore, uh, the time limit, time will be, you uh, know, one year. It can be extended for a further period of one year, okay. maximum. Okay. okay. So, okay. two years, not beyond that. Means, they have to bring it. Mm -hmm. They have to bring it to their place. So, means, the law is telling, you incur the transportation cost. Mm. Come what may. Yeah. You incur the transportation cost and bring the stock. The new stock is easily sold, but the old stock remained in the godam of the job worker for over a year. Over a year. The okay. Over a year is the point that is tested. Right. Superb. So, this we didn't know, sir. Very nice. Yeah. Over a year. Generally, we, when we are reading, we are like, okay, well, over a over year. A year. Yeah, sir, these normal, these things are very important points. CA Puru guides them properly about the tax treatment of these two transactions under GST. Interesting. So, yeah. Hinmay, sir, you want to take the third yes. question? Yes, third point. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Murli Lal is happy that their business has gone online as well and now they are selling their products through various e-commerce platforms. Mr. Prabhudeva shows his concern over the online selling uh, part and wants CA Puru to keep a check on the working of the same during his audit. Uh, CA Puru assure him that this audit strategy would majority, uh, majorly be based on the fact that good part of the company's business has gone online. In the evening, Mr. Murli Lal takes Puru with him to meet his old friend Mr. Babu Lal, his now friends are also coming, yeah. who resides in Mumbai with his family. Mr. Babu Lal had requested him for a meeting with Puru so that he could discuss the latter certain tax related issues of his family and higher services for tax related work. Actually, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. This shows that if you do a good job, yeah, you'll, you'll get, get more business. <laughs> more business. So this yes. Puru has obviously yeah. helped them a lot. First, initially he was going, yeah, got correct. business, then he called him over. So now Babulal. Yeah. Babulal. So, 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 so far, the moral of the story is uh, look for your friend and keep visiting their villages. Correct, yeah, correct. Yeah, 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 that's it. But in this, it was, yeah, yeah correct. Same thing. Uh, Mr. Babulal tells Puru that his son, uh, Gautam, is liable to pay 10,000 per month to Barka, his ex wife, as alimony. Uh, Gautam being an employee of PQR Private Limited has instructed his company's HR department to pay 10,000 per month <laughs> out of his salary directly. <laughs> to his wife directly and remit the remaining salary in his account. Okay. Yes, sir. So, in this regard, uh, actually, alimony to wife, ex-wife, will yeah. it be treated as consideration? Correct. So, like that one question is yeah. there in GST. Okay. Because uh, GST uh, quid pro quo, something in return. Consideration mm -hmm. involved, you have, you have to, to pay, pay GST. Yeah. What is the return so, for that piece of mind? Huh? Exactly. <laughs> so, here I got a consideration. But what is the activity involved? Correct. correct. So, X by F means no activity. Yeah. Nah? <laughs> <laughs> there is no activity. So, consequently, it will not be treated as consideration. Sir, peace of mind is not an activity. No, it is after <laughs> not pain. <laughs> that cannot be considered as activity. Activity means doing an act, not doing an act, tolerating an act. Tolerating will not be there. Correct, correct. correct. Not doing also will not be there. Doing an act also not there. So, therefore, he will be happy. Students so, will be laughing, sir. What is that act? <laughs> Alley money, okay. Yeah. Sometimes I read as all money because that's what happens. All Tiger Woods, yeah. Tiger Woods, generally they have this uh, prenuptial agreement. In okay. India, it's not there, sir. Abroad, 
is a prenuptial agreement before okay. marriage only they enter into an agreement oh. if you cheat on me uh, with the 10 girls i'm not even joking yeah. it's the truth oh. so then you will have to pay so much so there's one this uh, golf player called tiger woods, tiger woods okay yeah. they had an agreement with the wife saying that if i cheat on you with some two girls three girls then you have to pay that fellow cheated with some 40 <laughs> people <laughs> so everything went to her actually so that ali money became all money for her all so that is how it is okay. so this ali money so basically this is a question where uh, 10,000 I have to pay alimony because in a divorce settlement. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, this fellow said, let it not come to me and me paying and all. You so, only pay off. He told the HR guy. So is it like a, a diversion of income, overriding the title? The we have one question on that. Yeah, it is that we will discuss that. Yes. Or is it like application of your income is the question. Pending. Uh, yeah, you can continue. Yeah. Uh, per month, order a salary to his wife directly and remit the remaining salary to his account. Uh, Mr. Babulal wants to know the tax treatment of such alimony given by Gautam in his hands. Further, he tells C.A. Puru that he works under a partnership firm in which he and his other two sons, Mr. B and Mr. C are partners. The partnership deed provides that after his death, Mr. B and C shall continue the business of the firm subject to condition that 20% of the profit shall be given to Mrs. Daya, that is wife of Mr. Babulal. And uh, Mr. Babulal wants to know the tax treatment of such recipient in the uh, in, in his, his wife, wife after his death. So he's planning too much. Like yeah, he yeah. could have taken life insurance and closed it. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Puru satisfies Mr. Babulal by solving all his queries and let him do it then. Yeah. And quotes his fees to finally. handle all tax related matters of the family. The family. Yes. yes. Super. So, guys, let's discuss the questions now. Uh, first is the MCQ. An SSE carrying on business of growing and manufacturing tea is allowed a deduction under income tax law upon fulfillment of certain conditions. Like depositing amount in a deposit account opened in accordance with the scheme framed by the tea board. Deposits made in accordance with the schemes framed by other boards for agricultural commodities also qualify for similar reduction. A very simple question, which of the following schemes qualify for this deduction? So, let us uh, go to that sheet. One second, guys. Let us go to, yeah. So, basically, we have an income tax, stuff related to tea, deduction with respect to coffee and deduction with respect to rubber. So, as far as rubber is concerned, 65% is called is the agricultural income, 35% is the business income. Tea and coffee both around 60% is agricultural income, 40% is business income. Normal, if you are into what do you say, you are growing, uh, roasting, curing of the coffee. Since okay. I come from a coffee plantation background, my grandmom was in a coffee planter. So she used to uh, do the process of curing. Then uh, plucking the, of course, the entire coffee Leaves. seeds, curing, of course, to see which is good, which is bad, then roasting, and then, you know, uh, of course, the growing of thing also, growing, and then the entire process, the entire process, and then selling it. Okay. So this, since even the selling part is involved, so here it was 75-25 ratio. So, 75 is your agricultural income, selling is only the one small part, because what, uh, what precedes that is your growing, curing. Uh, roasting, there is a lot of uh, process involved in that. So, she had a 7 acre farmland which I still remember during my childhood I used to go. Okay. So, yes, in that, I mean now if I think about it, my grandmom would have come under this slab, mm -hmm. 75, ah. 25. Then sir. what is the difference between this 60, 40? Sir, in this that uh, growing curing is not there, sir. Ah, so, okay. what they do, they procure from other growers, coffee planters. Okay. So, okay. some coffee planters, what they do, eventually my grandmom sold it to his, uh, her nephew only. That fellow was a waste guy, I mean, I'll tell it in the class mm -hmm. only. So, he stopped the entire thing only. Okay, he didn't okay. start, he just started growing and giving it to somebody. Yeah, contract basis. Contract basis. So, for him, it now is Now, the one who purchased it huh. will be processing it. Correct, sir. So, he is just growing and selling. Selling, that's it. For him, 60-40. 60-40, perfect. Oh, so, okay. if you do the entire process, growing, producing, then you are curing, roasting and uh, de-seeding everything, for him, it will be 75. So, like that. Like that, basically three things are given. Uh, tea, coffee, rubber, predominantly because all three are exported out of the country. Mm. Uh, fresh coffee bean. And that's why if you see there is also people from outside India also want to come to India to sort of 
take from us only and then come back and do the same thing here. Your okay. uh, Arabia and all those things, coffee bean, that is what it is. That's why if you see there's a Starbucks came to India because of that, because we are predominantly a coffee drinking population. Correct. But as you, I hope you know that the national drink is tea. I didn't know that, sir. Two years ago, <laughs> I had gone, drink is tea. Tea. Oh. I had gone to uh, this thing, Bali or something. Uh, there, uh, there is one coffee. It's called coffee luwak. Uh, that coffee luwak is they feed seeds to a cat. Uh. The cat eats. Next uh. day, cat poops. Uh. From the poop, they make tea, uh, coffee. It's called coffee luwak, sir. It, <laughs> one one kg is some five thousand rupees. Oh my God! <laughs> it's <laughs> cat cat <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit coffee, it is simple, as simple as that. But there when we were going, he asked me a question, what is your uh, national drink? And I didn't know. Mm. Actually, it is tea. 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 Right? We know national animal, national yeah. bird and all. National drink only, we don't know. So, that's why Chai Point, which came, it says India runs on Chai, they say. Okay. Because actually India runs on Chai, everyone wants tea. Correct. But in South of India, the situation changes. We have Even our one politician also called as Chai Wala. Chai Wala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <sorry. laughs> Correct. <laughs> yes, Chai Wala. Yeah, no, run by. Run Controlled by. by. In, uh, so India runs on Chai, Chai Wala runs India. That's all you can say. <laughs> yes. Right. So, yes. So, that's what. But in South of the country, we have our coffee. And coffee beans also are exported. But because we are a predominantly uh, coffee drinking uh, nation, at least the southern part, these uh, fellows have come, you know, our Starbucks and all those people. And now, you know, you have your Tim Hortons. Just to give an overall idea, Tim Hortons also is a coffee, a very famous coffee place from UK has come to Bangalore now. Because we lo love our coffee. They set yes. up their shop in Bangalore and Mumbai for obvious reasons. Mm. Same, our third wave coffee roasters is one coffee roaster Correct. and very famous, yeah. which is uh, overtaken coffee day. Yeah. That's mm. one of the reasons why coffee day also opened because predominantly we have a lot of waste okay. coffee to sell because others were exported. Okay, okay. Other things we have to give it to our people, sell it at 150 rupees, yeah. 200 okay. rupees, so that we can sit and lot can hop, happen over coffee, coffee, they say. Yeah. yeah, that is how it is. So anyway, coming back to the discussion, these other snippets are also important for the discussion, guys, because you have an overall view. Coming back, uh, now, whatever it is, whatever it is you are doing, the uh, you have to deposit certain amount uh, to the what do you say, tea development board, coffee development or rubber development board. So, if you do that within, I will just write it down here, under this section 33AB with respect to the tea development account, whatever you amount you deposit, whatever amount you deposit or 40% of the profits before deduction, before certain deductions, we will see that later because there are some regarding that, 40% of the profit before deduction, this will be, this has to be done, this whichever is less obviously will be uh, allowed as a deduction, okay. will be allowed as a deduction, when you should do it within 6 months from the end of the financial year, within 6 months from the end of the financial year that is by 30th September we should deposit okay. or before the due date of filing the return, before the due date of filing the return. So, due date of filing the return was generally September, but then what did they do, now when tax audit since it's going in now September, it has become 31st October. October. <coughs> so basically, within six months or before due date, you should do it. So this is, and if it's transfer pricing, it won't come to this, then it will be one month extra. Okay. So this is the scene. Anyway, so now it, we have tea, coffee, and rubber. Now coming back to our question. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Coming back to our question here. Which of the following schemes qualify in this regard? So as I told you, tea is already there. So, the other answer will be our schemes framed by the coffee board and the rubber board. So, this will be the answer. So, coffee board is separate, rubber board is separate. So, you can the invest as per those schemes. If you invest as per those schemes, then of course, you will be getting the deduction. So, that oh, is question. That is simple as that. Tea is there, remain is coffee. coffee is right? coffee if you know <laughs> the tea, coffee, rubber, that is it. <laughs> You don't have to know uh, whatever I told, no need to know anything. Uh, no, because question said which are the other boards. Other it boards. is the other boards are coffee and rubber. That's all, that's all. So, if you know coffee and so rubber. So, for spices, main point here is that for spices board, we don't have all these exemptions. Correct, correct, correct. Uh, okay. Because yeah. spices and that too we can easily find uh, out spices. odd one out. Correct. Odd, odd one out. Yes, yes. So, in the A, B and D, there is spices. Correct. C, there is no spices. So, correct. odd one out, C is the answer. Perfect. Yeah, correct. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, guys, when you don't know, you can call it pinky ponky. Yes. No, that's what we say that choosing one right answer or three wrong answers. Correct. Yes. You are choosing three correct. Sir, anything, I mean, I don't know, in anything in GST. GST, we have one point, sir. Okay. Uh, actually, yes, sir. there is one. Uh, okay. Yes. 
there is one point related to tea, coffee and rubber. Okay. Uh. So, usually we need to maintain uh, accounts and records in every place okay. related to GST. So, certain accounts and records like input tax credit related records, tax payments, stock details, etc. So, but uh, for tea, coffee, rubber, there mm. is a cultivator. Okay. And this cultivator will be sending it to tea board. Okay. For auction. Okay. So, tea board will do the auction and they will be making a sale to one buyer. Okay. Okay. So, now the cultivator takes the stock hmm. to the premises of the tea board okay. for doing the auction. So, when they do the uh, transfer of stock to this tea board, this transfer of stock to the tea board is not a sale. Okay. Okay. But whether tea board is required to maintain any accounts and records related to this stock, which they are temporarily keeping till the time auction is happening. No, they don't have to maintain any accounts and records related to this. So, because this tea board will take a temporary premises to do the auction. Okay, okay. So, in this temporary premises, the cultivator will bring like some 20 lorries or 40 lorries of uh, mm. stock will come and stay mm. and he will conduct the auction and the sale will happen. So, actually in every place where the business is ordinarily carried out, we have to maintain accounts and records. Okay. Whether this auctioneer, tea board, usually auctioneer, tea board, Coffee board, rubber board. We have these three boards only. Three boards, yeah. Even in GST also. So these three boards are not required to maintain any accounts and records. But of course, that question is not there uh, here. Sir, so, but is the auctioneer um, is he a, like an agent of the cultivator in this? Yes. Okay. Auctioneer will be it treated, treated as an agent. Right? Agent. So, so guys, one more in Indian contract act can be linked here. Auctioneer is an agent, and for all uh, actions of the agent, of course, the main principle will be liable. liable. So, if that Correct. stock is gone there and it's destroyed by yes. fire or something, then uh, you know. And here to the buyer who will raise invoice, maybe another question. Yes, sir. Cultivator only will raise yes, the invoice. Correct. Okay. Okay. So, so he, agent he, will not raise the invoice. Agent mm -hmm. is just an auctioneer, mere agent. It's an intermediate. Yeah. So, cultivator only will raise the invoice. So, therefore, entire sale value will be included in the turnover of cultivator, Correct. not Same in the team. Same thing for accounts. Like yes. What they will say. Perfect. The seller is the cultivator. So, ultimately guys, this is a contract act also. For all acts of the agent, the principal is liable. Liable. But like for example, the stock is destroyed at the agent's hands and I have already sold it to the buyer but the stock is no longer there. Cultivator only will be liable. In turn, cultivator can sue agent for a breach of contract of agency. But that should be a separate contract. Correct. Indemnity sir. contract. Perfect sir. Because ultimate contract is between cultivator and buyer. buyer. So, this uh, agent cannot be sued. Because there is a doctrine of privity of contract, because private parties, two parties are there, others can also. Yes. Perfect, sir. Very nice. So, that is with respect to this. And uh, second question is also related income to income tax. tax sir. Let me take that, sir. Uh, so, here this concept, as we discussed earlier, it is concept of diversion, diversion of income and application of income. Okay. Yes. Diversion of income and application of income. And uh, these concepts are so important that even uh, in November 23, inter DT paper also they asked. Okay. In November 23 inter DT paper, in one of the questions they are asked that uh, the court had ordered, let us say you have a house property, son had a house property, son got that house property only because court had told from that income whatever you are getting, 20,000 should go to your mom. Okay. So, the father had written in his will, the property will go to the son only if 20,000 every yes. month will go to the, to go to my wife, father had written. So, now, Income I am getting 1 lakh from that property, hmm. but is my income 1 lakh or, or 80,000 is the question. This they ask in inter, okay. so that level they are asking now sir. So, is this application of income, application of income is what I get 1 lakh then I will give 20,000 20, to 20, my 000, mother, 20,000 yes. to wife, 20,000 to girlfriend like that, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, that is one thing that is application, whereas diversion is where from the top, it is diversion of income by overriding title. Okay. Overriding title. Title means my ownership. Am I entitled to that 1 lakh rupees? No. I am entitled to only 80,000 because mm -hmm. the, from the top itself it is overridden. The court has ordered. So, here we need to see uh, is it like overriding title or not. So, when we see the question we will understand. Uh, I think it was in the, the evening, uh, evening, evening when he went that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you see, yes sir, huh. he could discuss certain tax here. Basically, he had to pay 10,000 alimony. How he pays that alimony, nobody told. Yes. Basically, ultimately, he had to pay 10,000. Out of his, let's say, whatever, whatever disposable, disposable income. Uh -huh. Correct, disposable income. Because wife is unfortunately disposed already. <laughs> Other disposable income, yes, so he has to that. He has to dispose income. Yeah, income now, he has to dispose. So, yeah, that is what it is. So, 10,000 rupees, 
how he pays i don't care but he has to pay yeah. he has decided that boss i don't even want that money to come Correct. let it go to my wife only i, I don't want to send her to gp also yeah gp also i don't want i don't want, want, I don't want her contact, contact. <laughs> block block from me it's block i told hr lady or uh, lady i assumed lady of okay, hr department you let please send it to my ex wife so now 10000 rupees per month to bharka however it comes it can go so it is 100% application of income yeah, still your income only yes. then income, income application only so i can i in some other company if i am working or some consultancy fee if i get i can you know that fellow could have given gautam could have given it to bharka so this is definitely application of income not diversion on the other hand here if you see so this, this in this case that 10000 will be treated as income of this person yes sir yes sir so how can we say that it is not diversion sir so diversion generally in income tax some some law should it be is, there yeah it is diversion 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 of income is by overriding title so someone should tell correct this yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. should no you should not have a choice yeah, yeah. okay you should not, not have, have a choice, choice. Perfect, perfect because sir mm-hmm. normal english diversion you are right huh. my income is coming i'm diverting it to my except correct. correct but here when in the, in this law then it's a general rule of law actually diversion of income means by overriding title Okay. So there has to be an order, as he rightly said. There is no choice. Now, in this case, how it will become diversion, sir? Which one? In this case, it's not. First case, it's not. It's no, application. No, it's not. It's application. If it if, needs to be done as so a diversion, if they say that, for example, uh, reverse. I mean, alimony can be whoever has high, uh, you know higher income will pay to the other one. Now, if I am a house husband, uh-huh. my wife is earning very well. Now I apply for divorce. So then we have a house. So there they say that income from that house, okay. it's still with the wife only. The, uh, me, I will say. I, the, I want fifty percent. Okay, okay. If okay. you give me fifty percent, only then you can keep the house. Understood. So then the court will order in the divorce proceeding that boss, you need to do that. So a personal experience. One of my friends went through a divorce. So I was handling, I was accompanying him and all that. Chennai only used to come family court. So that lady started off with one crore, sir. Okay. Payment. So this fellow was earning some twenty thousand rupees per month. So she asked for one crore uh-huh. alimony. Then it slowly came down over like two years. Uh, it was a traumatic period for him, poor guy. But over a period of two years, eventually it came down to around five lakh rupees, full and final settlement. Uh-huh. So there, that is just application. <laughs> one crore to five lakh. <laughs> there, there, that is just application of income. But if it is overriding title, let's let's say he had a property which he didn't want to part with that property. Uh-huh. But the, the court said from that property whatever okay. income you are getting twenty to fifty thousand should go to this lady. Uh, only then you can keep that. Okay, okay. So generally, this overriding title will come from a probate of will or a court order or an if agreement. It, uh, if I visualize, it is basically like a straight line or it's like a this angle and go this. Correct, correct. If it has compulsorily, it has to go like this. By the it diversion. is application. Uh-huh. Correct. So diversion is by overriding the title. So whenever I say diversion, you should not use the normal English diversion because uh-huh. everything will be diversion otherwise. Said, come to me as going to yeah, your. Yes, don't yes. come to me only. You directly go from there. there. That will be diversion. Correct. Generally, we say in black money diversion of income detail. No, that that we cannot take here. Okay, sir. Here okay, the meaning okay, okay. is overriding title. So this is application of income. Uh, just just one question. We are all only talking about the son side. Just uh-huh. for her her side. Yeah. Is that alimony taxable in her hands? Alimony, yeah. alimony. GST point already we saw. Yeah. That is no, no consideration. No Here also no, because already this fellow is getting tax, right? Double tax. Nirmala Madam will not. No, but double tax. tax but in her hands, is, is it anything? You know, because if I say receive a gift, uh, for you it will be not expense, but for me it might be taxed. So no, but gift to a relative anyway is not. No, uh, it's not. Yeah. Uh, but here alimony. it is not because I mean, there, there is no specific section for alimony assets. Alimony assets. But there are cases though. Okay. In one case, it was held to be because she was already earning other income and she is getting extra here. It was taxed in other sources. Oh, exactly. So she that can be taxed. But there are other cases also where they have told because since it is already taxed, taxed there, it is not. So that there is no specific section as of now <laughs> <It> speaks about <laughs> alimony and oh, the taxation okay. of okay. alimony. Okay. Good question actually. Sure. Yes. So that is regarding the alimony point. Okay. Yes. Uh, that is why if you have a prenuptial agreement which all the rich people in india actually have now right so i am sure ambani and uh, piramal the business family is merged and i am 100% sure that there would be a prenuptial agreement because if anything happens after marriage there will be a proper planning so you session. also can keep the contract but the, keep the blank ready to fill the name if you have that person <laughs> yeah <laughs> correct correct so this is actually a very good uh, you know for lawyers to practice as well family law a lot of uh, what do you say cases like this will definitely come especially abroad it's there but now it's picking up second one if you see gautam being an employee of pqr has instructed his company okay this is done sorry here mr babulal wants to know the tax statement done okay 
Further, he tells C.A. Puru that he works under a partnership firm in which he and his other two sons, B.A. and C.A. are partners. Okay. Partnership deed. Now, the written document says, after his death, Mr. B. and Mr. C. shall continue the business subject to the condition. Now, this is there. I have no choice. I will allow you to continue only yeah, if you give 20% of the profit. Similarly, what you told that rental. That correct, rental, correct. Rental. Now, I understood. Yes, okay. So, 20% of the profit shall be given to Mrs. Uh, Daya, wife of Babulal. Very clearly, they have given. So, so if this you is known as diversion. Diversion okay. from overriding tax. So, that it, uh, it will not be taxed. It will not be. Perfect. So, if we go to the... So, it will not be taxed in the hands of... Sir, it is my, I mean, it is not, not taxed in the hands of this part, this thing, what do you pa say? Person. Part, person. Mr. Okay, uh, what's okay, his okay. name? Uh, Babulal. Babulal. Ah, Babulal only. No, that partnership firm is paying, right, sir? Haan. So, partnership firm, basically, for them, it 20% is not to be taken. Ah, because it correct. is, yeah, that is how it is. So, if you come down. No, I mean, for them, it is an expense, like something correct, like correct, that. Correct, correct, correct. So, if you see, uh, payment of. 20% profit to Mrs. Daya is application of income. It is not because it is it's diversion. Diversion of income. Next second one. Is second one. Payment, uh, of, payment of value money by Gautam Tax is diversion. No, that is application. application. So reverse. So both of yeah. both of statements are incorrect. Option D. Both are incorrect. Yeah. This is actually a very simple uh, concept in CA Inter, which they have tested in final. Because generally these things we'll never even see. It's in my first chapter, first first page only. These two concepts are given, but we don't study this, sir. That's the Correct. thing. Who's there? What is that so application? So they are diversion. testing on basics, sir. Well. Testing on basics. And diversion. Generally, we use the English word diversion and say, okay, amount is diverted, but that's not how we should see. Yes, sir. Third. So is, now think, moving on to the third GST. question, yeah. which is on GST. What would be the GST treatment of the stock lying with Mr. Shakti Puri? So, here we have uh, two transactions related to GST, the second one. So, what has happened is that first uh, they are sending the raw tea leaves to their registered job worker under GST. So, that is Mr. Sharma in Mangaluru, Karnataka and further the processed flavored tea which is delivered to wholesalers in Telangana from the job workers place in Mangalore itself. So, in this case, I think uh, this question is related to the second paragraph. Second paragraph. Second paragraph. So this question is related to the second paragraph, the T Rosa. Ah. They have spent a lot of T Rosa to another job worker and for making flavored tea as per the directions given. Further, due to decline in market of flavored tea, they sent fresh, normal, unprocessed tea with new instructions to job worker to hold the earlier consignment in the stock. Okay. So as this stock is held in the job worker's place and is not returned within the period of one year. So, while discussing itself, we had a discussion related right. to this. Right. So, we have section 143, goods sent on job work and the goods sent, sent on job work should be brought back within one year or an extended time period of one year by the GST officer. Mm. If the goods are not brought back within one year or it is not sold from there, the processed goods, then it is deemed as supply as per section 19. Okay. So, it is like interplay between two sections. So, 143 gives the time limit. Okay. And section 19 talks about the deemed supply. Okay. So, if the goods are not brought back within one year or extended time, it is deemed as supply in the hands of the person who sent it. So, in this case, the company is sending it. So, Basuri Private Limited is sending. So, it will become supply in their hands. And... Uh, uh, yeah. Just to get the clarification, so in job worker nature is the goods will come back. That's the yes. basic job thing. worker should process and then and it send back. it back to the principal manufacturer or it should be sold from there itself. Okay. So that is by nature. Mm -hmm. So here, what would be the GST treatment of stock lying with Shakti Puri? So GST payable in this case. Why GST payable? The time limit of one year has mm. been breached mm. and there is no question about extension of time limit here. Right, right. So, therefore, GST payable. But who will pay GST in this case, whether the job worker Shakti Puri or Bursuri Private Limited. So, the principal manufacturer who sent the goods on job work. So, right. therefore, option B is the answer. No GST liability also wrong. Tax payable by Shakti Puri also wrong. Tax payable by Bursuri on its removal from Shakti Puri also wrong. So, because it is the stock which is there. So, today itself the deemed supply, deemed fiction will come at uh, like under section 19. But this point in the answer, they have not properly given. Okay. They just said, 
tax payable by uh, private limited mm -hmm. but reason they did not tell that one year time limit point is not specified here so just they said uh, sending of unprocessed tea to the job worker in the first lot would be deemed as supply but why it is deemed as mm -hmm. supply not given so therefore section 19 that is open book answer so yeah. Have to yeah. <laughs> yeah so maybe that's the reason why yesterday like uh, when we have discussed about what is the use of purchasing the lectures correct correct so now the student when he is reading on his own so he will not know as to why it is deemed supply because we have deemed supply in some other place mm. section 7 subsection 1 clause c like that few activities we had so in that it will come as deemed supply or in a different place so the clarity they need to get that's why i have discussed this Super. then nice. the next question is also related to the goods sent on job work but this is related to the first part actually we don't have to refer to the first part and all because directly they are asking what is the form mm. that is to be filed by Bossery Private Limited. Usually when goods are sent on job work basis, it is not treated as supply in my hands. Okay. I am sending, I am Bossery Private Limited, I am sending it to the job worker, right. it is not treated as supply. But the law mandates me to mention all these goods in a statement. Mm. I need to communicate because right. the proper officer should know what goods are sent on job Correct. work and what is it returned within one year, what is not returned within one year. So he need to know. That's the reason why the documentation is ITZ4. ITZ1, form GST ITZ1 is for availment of ITZ on closing stock, it will not come. ITZ2 is for transfer of ITZ. Whenever there is a sale of business, unutilized ITZ can be transferred okay. from transfer or to transferee for that ITZ2. ITZ3 is reversal of ITZ on closing stock. But that is no way connected here. The moment you see job work, it will be always ITZ4. Mm. And also time limit can be tested. Okay. So there is a time limit for filing this ITZ4. So that is if your aggregate turnover during previous year does not exceed 5 crores, mm -hmm. then we need to file this on a yearly basis. And if aggregate turnover during previous year exceeds 5 crores, sorry, does not exceed 5 crores, we need to file it on a yearly by 25th of next financial year, means what, for example, financial year 22-23, mm. so by 25th April, mm. so by 25th April of next financial year, we need to file. Whereas, if the aggregate turnover during previous year exceeds 5 crores, then half yearly they need to file. Half yearly means two times they will be filing for the first half year from April to September by 25th of October and from October to March by 25th of April. So, this is this form ITZ4 and usually this form ITZ4 will be filed by the chartered accountants because they will maintain the entire data. So, taken from the records of the company and they will file this and decent amount they will be charging for this professional fees. So, this is one work which will be done by CA or CMA. Mm -hmm. Sir, how to remember all this sir? Because there are so many limits in, uh, I mean this is okay open book exam but in the uh, So, they have to revise sir. DT, IDT, mm -hmm. they have to keep on, keep on revising, revising it and the n number of times that they can revise that will be better. Correct. So, actually many students will be telling. So, uh, sir, your that's it book has helped a lot. Mm. Your last minute revision lectures has helped a lot. Because of that only we cleared like that. Actually, the fact is because of that they are not clearing. They are preparing and one day before the exam they are able to revise it. Revise. So, without revision, even if you put years and years of effort also, without 1.5 days revision, you will not be able to do. And if, so, you, read, if you read one day before exam, it's not part of the revision. Revision, <laughs> yes. It is vision. Losing <laughs> your vision. Yeah. Yeah. So, if they have to read it once. And thereafter, they need to revise all these time limits and go. But forms and all, they are started asking. Usually, in GST, they will not ask forms. forms. That is in uh, regular paper, paper 5. Indirect tax, they will not be asking forms. In paper 6, interestingly, they are asking. Yeah. So, the next question is related to Companies Act over to Punar yes. So, here, with respect to the decision taken at the fourth board meeting, the contention of the director Prabhudeva, let us just go to the uh, fourth board meeting, what happened, just to understand. Uh, half of it is story only, we need yes. to figure out where it is. Yeah, yeah. Before sir, first. Yeah, correct, correct. Yes, this one. 
borrow it. Yes. So the company wanted to borrow 20 crore rupees from a nationalized bank. So why we underlined all this, I will tell you now. At a board meeting held on 15-1-24, opposes the said borrowing and not in the interest of the company is what they say. So coming to the discussion. So, as far as the main powers of the board, as discussed in case study 6, very simple, whatever the company could have done, if company had brains of its own, it can be done by the board of directors. So, the board of directors have power to do everything. So, predominantly, if this is in 179.1, 1. 179.3 gives certain powers which can be exercised only through a board meeting resolution. In that board meeting resolution means they'll sit across a table like this and discuss. Or mm -hmm. we can do Zoom meeting also. That is also allowed. But it's not like where email is sent to your house. Not by circular. Not by circular resolution. Where you send to your email ID, you'll look at there. No discussion. Vote. That is a different thing. So one, uh, you have three things. D, E, F here. D is your borrowing funds. E is your investing money, investment. And F is granting loans. So, here we are talking about 179.3D borrowing funds. Interestingly, under 179.3D, this can also be delegated to MD. This can be delegated to managing director. So, in this case, those uh, Basuri Lal and those two people, husband and wife, can delegate the power to managing director. Mm -hmm. Where managing director himself can borrow for the benefit of the company. The delegation should happen via board meeting resolution. But this guy can borrow whenever he wants once he has the authorization from the board. This is one question. But there is one more section 181C which says that if you are borrowing money and that borrowing money happens to be more than the paid up share capital and free reserves. This is nothing but the net worth of the company. If you are borrowing more than the net worth, it is like what is net worth? Shareholders funds. Mm -hmm. Shareholders funds is that's 100 rupees. You want to borrow 100 rupees, no problem. You want to borrow 150 rupees. You are actually borrowing from outsiders more than what the shareholders have given. So, as per 181C, they say you have to take the approval of the shareholders. Even for that, private companies. Uh, that will come to that. So, who has to take approval? What resolution? Special resolution. By special resolution, you have to take approval. So, basically, Yesterday we saw in case study 6 we spoke about undertaking, sale of undertaking Correct. Yes. and we said sale of undertaking is not applicable to private company. Mm. The same here, okay. we, will this apply, same that was 181A, now okay. we are discussing 181C. One, okay. So here should I take the approval of the shareholders for this, for a public company, yes. So for a private company which has filed their annual accounts and their annual returns on time. Mm. So, annual returns should be filed within 60 days from the financial year and annual account should be filed within 30 days from the, uh, you know, whatever AGM date, you need to file it properly. If you have filed this, no problem. Then for such companies, to file your returns, etc. on time, then this special resolution point will not come. 179.3 will override 181C. So, in this 179.3D is any type of borrowing. It can be borrowing up to net worth, beyond net worth, no problem. Okay. If it is beyond net worth, then if it is a public company, one extra protection, shareholders should agree. Now, in this question, is it a private company or public company? Private. private company. And if you see the uh, question, sir, can please go. Thank you. Here also, they are buying, I mean, 20 crores they are borrowing. And the law 181C says the borrowing should be from a company's bankers. So, your nationalized bank, you should deem it to be company's bankers because if they are borrowing 20 crores from a money lender, I am just okay. saying, then 181C, I mean the entire concept, we will we'll have to see other sections, we will see that. So, it is from company's bankers, now at the board meeting, that is okay, board meeting. It should not include temporary loans in this. So, your temporary loans, etc., they have not given anything and special resolution has to be there. If you see the share capital and free reserves, it is 5, 5 plus 5, 10 crore. They are borrowing how many? 20. 20. And anyway, there is already a loan there. 15 crore. Correct. 15 crore loan already is there. So, definitely they are going way beyond the net worth. They are going way beyond net worth. If this were to be a public company, 100% you need the approval of sure. shareholders. Sure. But in this case, Prabhu Deva who opposes the said borrowing and he says not in the interest of the thing has raised that the borrowing is outside the borrowing powers. 
is it outside the borrowing powers no it is not, not. because the board, it's not board a, has the borrowing board has the power because it is not a uh, you know public company if it is a public company yes it's outside the borrowing powers so there the powers will come from the shareholder so coming back to the question on hand Contention of Director Prabhudeva, his contention obviously is invalid. Why? Because Vasuri Private Limited is a private company. His contention was it is outside the borrowing powers. No, it's not outside the borrowing powers. It is definitely within the pin. So that is all. So basically, ordinary resolution. If if Vasuri Private Limited were to be Vasuri Limited, uh, then D is the correct perfect, answer. Perfect, sir. Then D would be the answer. Then D would be the answer. D would be the answer. Some people will write A also and tell A will include C and D. All okay. that we should not do. Yeah. This is as for the provisions of Companies Act. Everything yeah. provisions Everything of Companies, companies Act. Company yes, no. A will, it should always be the specific answer. A will never be the answer. So if it is Vasuri Limited, then this answer. Okay. If it is Vasuri Private Limited, then of course invalid. So that is yes. regarding that. Yes. Sir, anything related to borrowing? Uh, borrowing, nothing in GST. Nothing, guess, nothing sir. Nothing. GST, nothing. nothing. Or even Only thing on borrowal, uh, any interest that is being paid. Huh. Uh, so, like uh, the one who is receiving the interest is not required to pay GST because yes. it is exempt. Exactly. Because yeah. interest on loans, advances, borrowals, deposits even, fixed deposits or term deposits, etc. All that interest income will be exempted unless the interest is collected on account of delay in receipt of consideration. Okay. Like for example, uh, I know you are my creditor. Hmm. I have to make the payment within three months. And as I am not making payment within three months, you will charge some interest to me. Hmm. So that interest will be taxable. Okay. But normal financial interest is there, right? Like borrowings, advances, loans. On that interest, no need to pay any GST. And uh, yes. income tax, even the interest portion which you pay will be allowed. It's allowed as deduction. deduction. So that's fine. So I think uh, the description, descriptive questions, Chinmaya, yes. first yes. one is your FR. Yes. Uh, okay, let us move on to the next question uh, on India S41. Analyze whether the activity is narrated by CA Puru to Mrs. Uh, Bansuri Devi with respect to KHID body limited within the scope of India S41. Okay. What is India S41 scope? Let me just cover it briefly. So India S41 is the only standard which are the sector specific standard what we have covered earlier. So what is India S41? India S41 is on agriculture. Okay, now for the purpose of India S41, what is the meaning of agriculture? It involves any agricultural activities which means there has to be a management of biological transformation okay. <clears throat> and there are also situations like uh, okay for example typical things will be you grow trees you have plants sugar cane all these things will be agricultural activities you have poultry farming you have dairy farming that is also agricultural activity. Uh, but there has to be some sort of management involved. I will take the example of whatever I will ask in this problem only, then we we'll look at the solution. So if you do a farming, you go to a ocean or you go to a place and you have fish and then you sell it. Mm -hmm. You are not making those fish grow. Correct. Mm -hmm. so it, is not, it is not part of agricultural activities. Right. But if you do it in a pond, in a closed environment, mm -hmm. that is you are uh, taking care of it. You are putting the activities behind it, it will be part of agricultural activities. Correct. That's a broad uh, part of it. We will go a little bit more in depth in the question. Another part you should know, uh, three standards can come together on INDAS 2, that is on uh, inventory, then INDAS 16, uh, that is on uh, property plan equipment, and uh, INDAS uh, 41, that is on agriculture. So if you think, you take an example like there is an orange. A juice manufacturing company. So they have to grow orange trees, mm -hmm. they have to pluck the orange fruits, Correct. they have to process it and then it becomes the packaged product. Mm. So this trees when you grow that will be part of India's 16. 16 oh. Because it is like a fixed asset. Uh -huh. From the trees you are making the
fruits. fruits okay, it's okay, like okay. a machinery or extracting the product out of it. Whereas if that is a sugar cane, mm -hmm. is a plant by itself, that's also a plant, tree is also a plant, but tree is in the nature of fixed asset Correct. because you are using the product. So okay. that tree will be under India 60, whereas okay. the fruits you extract out of it, those activities will be part 41. of India 41. 41. And once it is packaged, ready for sale, then it will be part of India 2. And sir, sorry to interrupt. Now, sugar cane example, yeah. sugar cane will come under India is 41. India is 41. Reason being, the plant itself we are removing. It is used for sale. So, mm -hmm. you are not using that for making any other agricultural produce. So, even when you are uh, having orange fruits, you will value under India is 41. Because as I, as example also earlier, for natural products, you can't follow cost method. Uh -huh. So, because India is 41, say you follow fair value method. Okay. Uh, once you make it into a packaged product, now you can say that it is cost or NRB, whichever it is. But as long as you are under India's 41, the purpose of introducing this standard is uh, we cannot establish the cost part of it. Okay. So we will only measure it on fair value basis. Even tea, I guess, would be uh, same, 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 same. Because same, if you pluck yeah. all the leaves, yes. basically only the main thing will be there. Like right. all the leaves will all be, be part of uh, India's 41 on agriculture. Yeah. So, coming to this part, what uh, what are the different uh, activities that uh, they are having? They have given the list and we just have to go through it one by one. Yeah. Yes. So, you have uh, five activities here. Managing animal related uh, activities like food, activities. fishing in the ocean, fish farming, farming, development of living organization, growing of plant for production of drugs. Now, first one managing animal related recreational activities like zoo now are you developing any animal or are you doing any biological transformation of those no that it is, is no it is just you are just controlling correct. its movements yes correct. and for recreational purposes so it is outside the scope of india's 41 okay. it will not we will not go for any fair valuation uh, uh, introduction like that because so again you apply the concept why india's 41 is there because if you have a cow one more cow ham I want to value it, there is a biological transformation happens. Mm. So I need to value it, so I go with fair value basis. For these kind of animals, I don't do any activities, I don't have to value it. I have paid something, I would have got some animal, I value on those costs. Yeah, so I and one, I will add one more point in this sir, in GST. Mm -hmm. So for this recreation activities in zoo, they will collect some entry amount, tickets. Sir, right? yes, that yes. is exempted, whatever may be the amount. Because okay. entry ticket to zoo is exempted. Okay. okay. So guys, oh, whenever next exempted. time you are visiting a wildlife sanctuary, tiger reserve, or a zoo. So, if they are charging GST, take a photograph and tag uh, Nirmala ma'am. Okay. okay. So, there is no GST on entry tickets to zoo. Okay. Good. Good. Nice. Nice. I didn't, yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, I also didn't know that. <laughs> uh, fishing in the ocean, we can also discuss earlier. Uh, you are, if fishing is there, like you are taking the fish, you are selling uh, activities you are uh, involving. But fishing, you are not doing anything. The fish Correct. grows by itself natural, in the ocean. Natural habitat. The biological transformation, you are not managing it. So sir, even that is a case of minor forest produce also, no, sir? Yes, there, that is all. Lacks, bamboo. Whatever is coming in the forest, you yeah. don't uh, grow, it grows by itself. You might pluck it and you can might sell it. In uh, DT, there was a thing, fishing in the ocean. So, fish, even the fish farming. Mm -hmm. uh, fish, fish farming, farming is second one. The normal yeah. fishing in the ocean. Yes. So fishermen go, fishermen go and they, they collect the fish and they sell it. Now, generally it is sold, even in Chennai, if you see, there will be a head Correct. fisherman. Yes. They will collect everything from everybody and, and then he will sell it to yeah. other yes. people. Now, the thing is, the question was, uh, cash dealing used to happen. Correct. So, that cash dealing, you know, the question is, if I give it to the main fisherman, mm -hmm. the head fisherman, and head fisherman sells it to somebody else, and the payment made by, let's say, uh, some uh, ITC hotel is buying the fish for their customers, uh, they make a payment of, you know, 20,000 rupees, 30,000 rupees in cash. Now, would it be disallowed was the question. Okay. So, because generally, general rule, any cash payment, payment made to agriculture, than is uh, outside uh, that you limit, know 20,000 20, limit which mm. is there in now it's 10,000 yeah, so it is 40 A3 40 capital A3 yeah. so the question was it if it's paid to the direct agricultural guy fine for each for example ITC each of all mm -hmm. ITC paying money in cash to the agriculturalist to the farmers it's fine. no problem it's in cash you can pay it's allowed. but now what about head fisherman he is not, not actually a fisherman because he is just collecting fish from others. So, yeah. it created a huge uh, you know, issue 3-4 years ago where they added now saying that, okay, yeah, head yeah. fisherman also is deemed to be fisherman. Okay. That is one. Second part is, it says fish. 
what about crab <laughs> squid <laughs> prawn i think law of interpretation yeah. of that also went to the court because <laughs> they said uh, crab fellow like what would we do <laughs> yeah <laughs> prawn guys said what did we do squid and all the yeah. so many you know uh, marine yeah, aquatic like animals that, yeah. and hey, at least in here at least this much in indonesia they eat everything yeah, yeah, Prog, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever you can whatever moose they moose. eat <laughs> so here yeah that's why they also said fish includes all those things <laughs> all those so they included everything <laughs> under the yeah, fishing really yeah so yeah. that's a nice point actually yes yeah. sir, so that added. probable probable oh, question. Pro- probable question yes of course, of course. Yes. so fish farming means yeah you control uh, the activities in a private under, uh, so in gst also it comes so in here also it is part of india so this oyster thing comes here no they, when they cultivate these yeah, pearls correct. oyster yes, oyster right. farming because you control it you uh, control environment where mm. you take care of the water constant Fencing. I was just reading some guy who was into farming. I mean, agriculture. He quit and he joined this fish uh, oyster farming. Okay. Somewhere in Andhra Pradesh, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, Fencing. Andhra Pradesh. Lot of people will do now this. Now uh, oyster surf. farming, yeah. prawn farming, Correct. shrimps. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's very good amount. Correct. But it's a double-edged sword. Correct. Correct. If it goes also goes, completely, goes, it will yeah. go. Because in oyster, I think the pearl also has lot of value. Meat also has value. Yeah. yeah. And they're all uh, biological items. So yeah. Mm. A, what about this like, dog rearing fellows yeah, they're, 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 uh, again that's an interesting thing if you are having dog breeding center and mm. that is your business that's part of pinday sport and agriculture okay oh. but if you have a factory for security you have two three dogs okay, okay. so that is the purpose of them is not a business there so those things will not be out of pinday sport that the dogs in yes so basically there has to be a Uh, business application uh, activities and right. there has to be management so this fish farming will come under will india come s41 under and the fish in that farming the fish which is out of that farming you will value under nrv basis ah, when, uh, whenever that, it grows or it yes. it, it, it auditor will, auditor will take one fish and then <laughs> physical <laughs> no so for that you said one more standard na yeah no no when uh, in in days 2 that value in days 2 in but not not at this time if okay. you do any further processing like okay. once you take out the fish then you put it maybe you uh, keep it you process it cut it into small pieces you make it into a package for storage they have to add those yeah. preservatives then, that, that will come under india 16 year in fish farming nothing will come here or if you have any pool you are thinking the pond etc yeah, those kind of uh, any infrastructural things okay. you build okay. that will be part of india 16 but that would be anyway part of india 16 okay the special point for the orange tree was because tree is also living plant and there we have to specifically take it under the, the property plan equipment interesting yeah. so development of living organized or organized organisms such as cells bacteria for research purpose so you are doing some activities but you are not doing it for the purpose of a sale or even conversion purpose mm. so it is again not directly part of your products being sold because the the word used is uh, either it should be for the purpose of sale or conversion okay. in your raw material as a processing item so if you are having let's a uh, something related to Uh, poultry farming or let's say dairy farming you have to give certain items for the cows to drink to eat so it's mm-hmm. part of the processing items you can say that is part of index 41 so that research were <clears throat> yeah. done by astrazeneca for example yeah. for covid vaccine those items so value because... whatever the activities you involve items you have as storage index 41 valuation we don't know again they... because you have the purchase price to acquire it you value it okay. on cost basis the regular uh, standards would apply only when the value increase for example you have a cow you purchase one year it become three years the price is different because one it would have happened over a period of 2 3 years and the price of a three year cow is also different so there the latest value becomes more relevant the cost is not relevant there so that is why they say that in those activities we in this 41 will take on the specifically a valuation so development of living organisms also will not apply Uh, growing of plants to be used, used in production, production of drugs. drugs so it again, is again on the processing conversion of it so definitely these things will be part of it if it is for research purposes it would not be part of it okay. for manufacturing it is part of it we'll quickly just uh, read please can we say some income generating activity if it is used yeah income generating and you should be part of it like fishing in the ocean also is income generating okay but you have to be part of ha huh. we should do that, that uh, we should do that okay yes It's also a kind of MCQ question only because the list is there. You just have to tell uh, yes or no for those items. Oh, okay. So managing animal-related recreational activities, the answer was no because there is no management. 
Mm. Fishing in the ocean, the answer is no, because the ocean is harvesting biological assets from unmanaged sources. So, no management. Uh, fish farming, uh, yes, managing the growth of the fish is where you are involved and therefore you are, uh, this, this 41 is applicable. Mm -hmm. uh, relating to development of living organisms, um, is it does not qualify, it is not because it is not for sale, for sale or, or for conversion, conversion into agricultural the tea, produce. The two key words you have to remember is that sale or conversion, conversion. not for sale, not for conversion. But this is growing of plants should be used in production, yes, this is for the purpose of this. Conversion yeah. activity will apply. Nice. So yeah, these are the list of uh, scope of India's 41. Sure. Yes. I think the other so two. So the uh, other two questions are uh, yes. related to yeah. Punarvasar. Sure. sir. So let's take the eighth one. It's, it's slightly easy, and we'll come to the seventh. I'll just show you the answer, and there we can discuss each point. Mm -hmm. What specific factor? This we can like do a proper dis normal yeah, discussion. Yeah, good one. We can yeah. maybe I mean some elements of yeah, we can uh, some points, SCMP yeah. or maybe I don't know. Let's figure out. GST internet information is there. Yes, sir. So what specific factors for online shopping would be considered by CA Puru in formulating the? audit strategy of the company in the above case. So, this company is also going into online online e-commerce. E e e so, they are probably you know hosting their yeah. products there and they are purchasing also. So, first I feel I mean in auditing it is audit strategy we have all done the you know audits first obviously you should have a proper system. Uh, any essay for it audit strategy specific? Strategy, that, that audit planning is 300, 315 all those center risk assessment and no, no, 330. For strategy. A strategy nothing strategy. is there, nothing is there. It all starts from that uh, you know your quality control SQC1 then your objectives of audit is essay 200 from there it begins. Okay. Uh, for inter students remembering the names of the standards only was a Correct. pain. But yeah, yeah, as far audit strategy is concerned, there are no specific standards, it's a very generic, generic question actually, though. very, very generic question. Okay. Okay. So, we can, the students need not think of anything, but you are actually hosting your product, product in an online uh, portal or a online shopping or having a website, etc. What will you do? Correct. So, first obviously, you should have a proper system. Correct. Hmm. So, that system can be an automated, should be an automated obviously. Yeah. Automated system, information system basically and a manual system. A manual system can be feeding the data into it, uh, creating the product, all those things. But most important thing, the audit strategy is how, how are the payments getting Correct. captured? Mm -hmm. Is it ca getting captured through, are you like… That is whether the payments are collected by the e-commerce e operator, operator or yes. directly you are collecting directly. just using the e-commerce platform to… Perfect. Uh, yes. Deliver. So, are you using just a platform to deliver or you are collecting the payments and of course, there will be an intermediary like your razor pay, yeah. the service yes. providers. Yes. So, how is that yeah. being Any, any uh, reconciliation done? being done frequently. Reconciliation, all those points you have to write and uh, I mean, if you are also have to add a tedious point now there is a new section 194q which uh, <coughs> speaks about 194o sorry speaks about e-commerce tedious on e-commerce operator so How amazon much is the rate sir sir 1% 1% 1%, 1 of the full full consideration full consideration full consideration that's the oh, deadly thing yeah. i'll add one point yes, here yes sir yes sir under gst there is tcs 1% okay the tcs is also there Ah, Correct. And yeah, but yeah. income tax TCS, TCS is different from GST. Different from GST TCS. Oh, how does this work? GST TCS works like TDS under income tax. Oh. So the e-commerce operator will cut one. <laughs> TDS under TDS TCS. <laughs> the one meme is there now. Shay Kumar meme like this river. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So TCS under GST is like TDS, TDS under TDS. income tax. Okay. It's like e-commerce operator. Write down, write down. TDS yeah. under income tax equals to TCS. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, e-commerce operator will collect money from the buyer. So, on that money, one person, same, gross consideration. Oh, okay, okay. That's why I said like TDS. Yes, yes. Gross consideration excluding the GST component. Okay, okay. So, but there while calculating TDS, GST component should not yeah, come. Correct, correct. Because there is one circular. So, okay. In so, CBDT, yeah. one circular is there. While calculating TDS, the GST should not be Consider included. Anyway, correct, correct. That is as even for rental level. General, anything, general. Anything for that matter. So due to that reason, anyhow, we will calculate in both GST as well as income tax on the gross amount into one percent. So the e-commerce operator will remit in the name of the supplier, supplier yes. and the supplier will take that one percent as credit in his when cash in ledger. Okay, okay, okay. So in his cash ledger, but in income tax yearly, but here in the same monthly, month, monthly. monthly and he will utilize it for payment of his monthly liability. Perfect, super. So effectively 2%. 2%, <laughs> one under uh, GST, yes, one under income tax. Basic. And, and now what is the TCS the under? Same, sir, similar tax. provision, but there are many circulars for that uh, and there are a lot of interconnecting points. So that probably will do it later. That same thing. 
So that is from the buyer's point of view also has to deduct. So there is one section of for a big buyer. If he is a big buyer, if he is okay, giving okay. more than 50 lakh uh, turnover, that is one. Then for a big seller. Mm. So there are, even CBDT is confused regarding that. So they okay. have released a very master circular sort of a thing with lot of interconnections. That is TDS, TCS interconnections. Okay, okay, okay. So, but yeah, that those points have to be seen in the audit strategy, most yes. important because the, you have to check the reasonableness of the expense and also whether the compliance is done or not. Because if TDS compliance, etc. is not done, again it's a problem. So that is the one strategy and of course your uh, manual systems. Yeah, you can also do systems. And also one more point can be added in this audit strategy. Ah. So it's like uh, the e-commerce operator who deduct the TCS under GST, mm. he need to file one return GSTR 8. Eight. Mm. And that will be reflected in their cash ledger. Okay. Suppose if it is not reflected in their cash ledger, we need to do some uh, you know reporting okay. under audit like uh, as right. per the records, e-commerce operator has deducted this much TCS, TCS, but in our records, electronic cash ledger under GST for the supplier, this much only reflected. Mm -hmm. The difference is on account of e-commerce operator not filing the GSTR rate return. Okay. Super. Sure. So, and we can also include like because it's online transactions, you use like whose authorization systems related. Correct. Correct. Yes. Whether it so, is they should have an organization structure and authorization structure as well because uh, it is again because there will be some threshold limit and based on the threshold above it, somebody has to approve. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And that so maker those, checker concept. Yeah. Those of, charge uh, with governance. Correct. Correct. So those TCW. Yes. All uh, those things. Related. So, that very generic point to be honest. Maybe you can divide the points like, uh, you know, DT related. Ah, I, I think points. that that way is best. That way is better. But general. the answer is very horrible, sir. What they have given is very general <laughs> stuff. Uh -huh. But I think you should make it in a better answer, yeah. like DT related stuff. Yes. IT related, 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 controls related. Controls. controls. The so control system. Amazing yeah. subject we had Iska. <laughs> yes. Uh, which yes, is which, gone now. Yeah. So you that, guys will not have, but we had there. Yeah, yes, we yes, had. Yes. Oh yeah, you guys will not have. But you have EIS. No, that is also now. Now is not there, but of course you had. You had. They were writing. You also have a path history. Yeah. Correct. Right. So the. And then one more point in indirect tax is that uh, this e-commerce operator, like when I am, whenever I am making sale to the, through the e-commerce operator, uh, I have to compulsorily get registered hmm. under GST. Okay. So therefore, in this case, as they are selling the tea through e-commerce platform, so even though it may be exempted, right. like so the supplier, whether they are required to compulsorily register, not required. If it is agricultural produce which are exempted. Supplier is not compulsorily required to register and the e-commerce operator is always compulsorily required to get right, registered. Right. So that's like, but that is vague mm. related to registration. Correct. But here it is clearly given that they are making a very good business turnover and all. So maybe if required, we can write and that. And even point. if you are like selling outside India, then even FEMA regulations will come, come. when it will be, it will become export of uh, goods. But usually in auditing, sir, what you feel like for these general questions, if we write like this, this connecting those points, will they give marks? Yes, sir, because here generally, I mean, generic points, if you see the answer, you will see, you will be like, what is that answer? They have given some, this is going through the data, it's just come here. Ideally, I mean, personally, I feel they should, I mean, you should write, because they have asked for specific factors, right? Uh -huh. So, I think we should write, the, first is okay. the information system, and then the, uh, that is the automation and the manual, and then we have to write what points you should yeah, see, like what strategy is that. Relate ta the related accounting records, like information records like journal entry, or yeah. journal like ledgers, yeah. bank reconciliation statements, correct, correct. vendor reconciliation statements, you can mention those. Mention things. all those things. So, it's a very generic concept. Then, how the information system captures events, like very generic. Control sir. surrounding journal entries. So, therefore, whatever we discussed. <laughs> no, it, no, it, no, it's one layer before I like general things. General, yeah. General, no, no, we discussed like detail, 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 no, that related only they put it here. Yeah. Uh, system general. related, yeah. accounting related, related, process related. No, but it, I think it will be like a four mark question. We mm -hmm. need to write something specific in depth, it, yeah. specific, because they have asked for specific factors only. Mm -hmm. But the answer is generic. Very generic. generic. Yes. So that I, I mean, personally, I feel that you should add more to this, which we have already discussed. You can make a note and you can add. Yes. So, so then coming back to the second yes, question that we have to we can check the answer and there only also but let me read the question sir. Yes, sir. what are what are you are required to state income tax implications of withdrawals from deposit account during the financial year 23 24 relevant assessment year 24 24 obviously previous yes. year and assessment year sir we can see the answer uh there only i will write two yeah, points sure. yeah yeah because, because 10 lakh was the amount. 10, 10 lakh, was, lakh the amount was the amount set perfect. aside for uh, the T development. Perfect, perfect. So in that 10 lakh, 
whatever was set aside, it is deposited to the development account. I told you it should be deposited within six months mm -hmm. on the end of the financial year or uh, before the due, due date, date of, of the of filing the return. Mm -hmm. earlier, then it will be allowed, a, full will be allowed as a deduction, but you have to use it, utilize it within that uh, next year, year, within yes. that previous uh, year itself. You can utilize it for buying any sort of uh, machinery mm -hmm. or, you know, plant, definitely. You can use it, but if it is used for residential purposes, you will buy one uh, sofa and mm -hmm. give it to the director's mm -hmm. house from the T development mm -hmm. account. That obviously, I will not give the reduction. It should be used for specific purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, specific purposes given by that particular board. Missionary plant to, for the factory makes sense. Residential purpose does not make sense. But like sofa, I can use it in factory also, like just for example. Correct. But then again, Those it things is… things are not part of it. No. There are specific points in that T development thing. It is predominantly the machinery ah. for… Okay. producing more. Okay. Then why you said computers, sir, while discussing, you said computers in office, you said it is available. It is allowed because again computer is used. Missionary. Missionary, it is ah, used for okay. the purpose okay. of okay. development of, you know, uh, the product. Understood. Normal missionary, office appliances again are not allowed. So, what is not allowed is office appliances. Like AC. AC and all is not there, but ex excluding computers. Okay. So, okay. if you are using, if you are buying, using the money for computers, allowed. Uh, but if you are using other office like your furniture, etc. and other things. Like and computers includes laptop all those Everything, yeah. sir. Everything that will be the same. Then, uh, third one, again, any other uh, machinery, if the actual cost is fully allowed as a reduction. For example, if you purchase a scientific research expenditure, mm -hmm. uh, scientific research uh, asset, sorry. Correct. That asset is fully used as a reduction in that year only, mm -hmm. under 35. Correct. So, Correct. basically that you cannot use this money. And uh, oh. for that scientific research, get deduction Again, 35 also, year also deduction. Sometimes you get very deduction also. Uh, mm -hmm. All that and all, not, not, it is not allowed obviously. And fourth one is, uh, you cannot buy any machinery for purchasing items in the 11th schedule. So, 11th okay. schedule is your toba tobacco, ah, okay. the alcohol, okay, okay. So all those things, you cannot use so the tea alcohol for the workers. No, uh, workers. Cigarettes <laughs> for the workers. Not, not allowed. Yeah. So, you can't use this tea development account for what? For this, for, uh, for something else. <laughs> One brewery, you'll, micro brewery, you'll open there. Uh, toddy shop, you'll open. Yeah, not yeah. possible. Then so Kerala and all, if you go, uh, toddy shops yeah, yeah, everywhere. Definitely everywhere yeah. it's there actually, but yeah. yes. So, that and all, uh, you can't use that. You, you do it for separate thing, but can't use that money, money for, for that. Yes. So, I mean, there were few, one is of course, this 10, 10 lakh rupees being the amount withdrawn from T development account, yes. Account has to be utilized in a prescribed manner, as we have discussed, but will not include these four. Will not include these four. In the given case, taxability of withdrawal is there. First one, they have told that 6 lakh is utilized for non-depreciable asset they have given. That's fine. You can use allowed. it. It's as specified. It's allowed. No problem. So, that is how it is. But before that, let's just uh, see what is the business income portion and I have already discussed how much is business income, how much is uh, agri agricultural income. 60 Correct. percent is agricultural income. Correct. So, in the question they have given, 50 lakh is the composite, composite. Uh, composite income. Composite is both. How much is business in that, how much is uh, agriculture is what that uh, particular rule says and uh, this section, rule 8 and 33 AB. 33 AB, so uh, as I told you, amount deposited in the account 10, 10 lakhs or 40% 40 40 of the business. Okay. Whichever is okay. lower. Whichever is lower. Okay. So, here it is 20 lakhs or 10, 10 lakhs, lakhs, whichever is lower. So, 10, for lakhs. 10 lakhs is what you have to take. So, what I will get is 40 lakh rupees. Now, in this I have to do that 60, 40. Generally, what people do, they will oh. first do this oh, 50, lakh 50 lakh only they do. Oh. That is the problem. Okay, okay, okay. So, first I have to subtract the deduction. After this deduction only, whatever I get, then as per rule 8, I have to do the 60-40 uh, deduction. If, if, suppose if 10 lakh was not there, huh. then this would have been 40, this would have been 60. Correct, correct, correct. correct. Suppose true, 10 true, lakh true. Lakh. So, now 60% of 40 lakh is the agricultural income as discussed and uh, business income would be the remaining 16 lakhs. 16 and lakhs. in the question you would have seen that there was a brought forward brought loss. Forward business business loss. loss. Yes. So, that obviously will be allowed as a set off under section 72, you yes. can set off that yes. you can go, and go on for 8 years anyway. Correct. Except your depreciation under 32 which, which can, can be, be set off forever. forever. So, there are other areas also which can be set off forever, but of course, normal business loss can be set off for 8 years. So, this was carried off, you know, from the previous year, 22-23 anyway, previous assessment year. So, yes, carried forward. So, that brought forward loss can be set off. So, the actual business income chargeable to tax is 1 lakh. So, where students really make an error is first they take 60-40 year, mm -hmm. then they give deduction 10 lakh, 10 lakh. make right. a mess of everything. Okay. That is one problem that we have, to, we, have, we are facing. Anyway, coming back to this now. 
Now they are asking about the uh, what is taxable, what is not taxable, etc. Now they have told six lakh is the amount withdrawn for uh, buying an asset, which is specified in the scheme. No problem. Correct. It's specified. It's all. Second one they have told three lakh is the machinery which is put in the office. Now Correct. ten lakh deduction in that it's not allowed. In that ten lakh I have to three lakh add back three lakh. three lakh. So three lakh. Then whatever there it, we got as one lakh plus this three lakh. Yes, sir. Correct. Correct. We'll, correct. Correct. Uh. So three lakh. Correct. You're right. Being the amount utilized for the purchase of machinery to be installed. Now sir is asking is three lakh business income or in that three lakh also sixty forty I should do. Uh -huh. Correct. That is the question. We'll correct. come to that. Correct. So plus should I do sixty forty or yeah. is it there we saw one lakh? Uh -huh. Is it one lakh plus three lakh? Or one lakh plus sixty percent. Sixty percent of three. Yeah, is the question. We'll come to that, sir. That's the last part. So three lakh being the amount utilized uh, missionary, definitely yes. Then we saw that one lakh rupees. In the question only we discussed, one lakh was used for the purpose of the scheme, but it was used when? It was used next year. Next year. Correct. After that. So it should be whatever the year it is withdrawn, it should be utilized in the same year. So here it was not done. So hence. 1 lakh also will be So basically, we have 3 plus 1, 4 lakh now. 4 lakh. Yes. So there is again the rule continues that agriculture and non agricultural portion has okay. to be segregated. Yeah. Because Reason being, yeah. because not has deducted. been deducted yes. before computing 60 40. Correct. Correct. So therefore, this is the same nature, the same, nature. same nature. Same nature. Perfect. Perfect. Mm. So in that, for 4 lakh, I have to divide mm. uh, 60 40. Oh. So 40 percent will be 1 lakh 60,000. So this 1 lakh 60,000 will be. The chargeable to tax as the Next business year. income and the balance 2 lakh 40 would be agricultural income exempt from tax. Perfect. So, very simple. So, it's a 4 yes, mark question, nice. 5 mark easily, neatly you can do. But today I learned. <laughs> yes, sir. We are all, that's the beauty of this, sir. We learn, yeah, like yeah. I didn't know about that biological asset actually. Yeah. And now in our classes we can connect. Yeah, we can use it. Yes. So, that yes. is the good thing about this is our learning experience for us sir, as well. Yeah. Yes. So, so, with this we completed yeah. case study 7. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.